Well, good Saturday morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. Of course, my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up the football gods here. How are you guys doing on this Saturday morning? This is a Saturday definitely we've been waiting for for a long, long time because last night we got to watch the Philadelphia Eagles last night and Philly 500 announced that he has drunk the Kool-Aid, that he is all in on the season, that Jordan Davis is God and that Mark Holmes was right about him. Um, I'm going to actually go back and watch some of that game. And I want to get some clips from Jordan Davis because Jordan Davis had about five plays that he was just unstoppable. And then the next ones he had, it kind of looked like he just kind of was there. And I know that uh, Philly 500 doesn't want to hear that, but maybe he's just not quite in shape and things like that. But that's kind of Albert Hainsworth-esque a little bit there. But And, and I know what's going to happen. You're just being a hater. No, I'm not. I'm just well, Maybe I am. Maybe I am. But anyway, we got to watch the Eagles yesterday. We got to watch the New York stinking Giants, and boy, did they stink uh, the night before. Today at 1 o'clock, we'll be able to see the Washington Commanders. And then late tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern, we'll be watching the Dallas Cowboys. So it's going to be a great day. I'm going to get my morning video up in here. I'm going to rest my voice till we can watch the Washington Commanders and see at least the first half of the game and see what they do during their game. But an interesting tab note here, um, we have one Antonio Brown. Um, a lot of people are worried about our wide receiver core because we, of course, only have one guy who's actually caught an NFL touchdown, and that being, of course, C.D. Lamb. Some people say that C.D. Lamb's not really a number one receiver, uh, and so on, and people are worried about the Cowboys. Some people even say the Cowboys are setting Dak Prescott up for failure this year because of losing Cedric Wilson, who all of a sudden seems to be um, the greatest wide receiver in history, and Amari Cooper. Um, and some people think that the Cowboys need to go out and get another receiver, uh, be it a T.Y. Hilton or a Will Fuller or somebody of that nature. And the Cowboys will probably kick the tires on some players as soon as the roster cuts have been done in a couple of weeks. In the meantime and in between time, you do your thing and I'll do mine. Antonio Brown was caught by TMZ and asked about if he wants to return. And let's go to the tape here and listen to exactly this um, dialogue where he tells Jerry Jones to call me. Also talks about where he might end up being the sky and talking about his next rap album. Um, let's go to the tape. And people, people want you to come back to football. Tell, hey, tell Jerry Jones to call me. Really? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe. If you want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want the production. Yeah? Maybe. Maybe? Where, where do you think you could end up? In the sky. <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> Have you spoken to Tom Brady at all? No, but tell him I missed the passes. I'm still open. Look, show it. Show him open. Yeah. Show the fit. Hey, this looks okay. good. Well, are we going to get another album soon? Yeah, I'm going to put one out soon. Maybe. Yeah? September. September. Wh when? One of those days that I'm on. Do you have any features? Any feature with Kanye? I'm working on it. Yeah? yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Forgive me, y'all. Forgive me. I've got uh, one of these summer colds. I've done the COVID test. No COVID, but definitely a raw throat. Um, um, yeah. I don't even know what to say about this one. Um, he don't even sound like he's right in the head. Maybe. Tell Jerry Jones to call me. You want to play a cap? Maybe. Production is there. I might end up in the sky. Um, yeah, let's listen to it one more time here. Let, let's. 
Maybe I missed it the first time. People want you to come back to football. Tell, hey, tell Jerry Jones to call me. Really? Maybe. Yeah? Tell your little pink. If you want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you what? want the production. Yeah? Maybe. Maybe? Where Where do you think you could end up? In the sky. <laughs> In the sky. <laughs> Have you spoken to Tom Brady at all? No, but tell him I missed the passes. I'm still open. Look, show it. Show him open. Yeah. Show the fit. Hey, this looks okay. good. Well, are we going to get another album soon? Yeah, I'm going to put one out soon. Yeah? September. September. Wh when? One of those days I don't want. Do you have any features? Any feature with Kanye? I'm working on it. Yeah? yeah? Now, let's be clear here. Antonio Brown torched us for about 129 yards, averaged like 21 yards of reception against Anthony Brown. I guess, Brown. Wh what can Brown do for you? Um, he is a very talented player. I'm not going to lie and say he isn't. Um, but being a team player and being a guy that you want to have on your team that you can depend on, I'm not so sure that that's the case because with Antonio Brown, it's basically kind of like Sherman March to the sea, scorched earth policy. Everywhere he goes, he leaves some scorched, <coughs> scorched earth, be it with the Steelers, be it with the Raiders for when he was there, basically having a cup of coffee, uh, freezing his feet, <coughs> having a helmet meltdown on his way to New England, and then to Tampa Bay and helping them, but then, of course, walking out in the middle of a game. If it were up to me, and it's not, I'd have to say on this one, this is definitely uh, a Jerry Jones El Paso. I know a lot of people will be talking about, wow, let's go get that guy. And we fall in love with name guys of greatness that they've had in the past, but don't always look at all of the ramifications of where they are now. There's a lot of players that you remember their great days but we don't realize that those great days are behind them. And at this point, they're just looking to latch on and get themselves a paycheck. Now tonight, my biggest worry and things that I want to look for are a couple things is I want to see how our defensive line plays. I'm hoping that we can get a lot of penetration, that we can get a lot of speed up in there. I want to see how Tristan Hill actually performs, a guy who we thought was definitely on the bubble but has, over the last two weeks, definitely looked a lot better. I want to see Navelle Gallimore, as well as I want to see Sam Williams coming off of the edge um, and seeing how this all interacts. Um, Micah Parsons talked about D-Law sliding down to tackle and him playing defensive end. That is definitely going to be a lot of speed and definitely making tight ends and tackles a little bit nervous as well as quarterbacks. The biggest thing, though, I want to see is how this offensive line performs. Um, thus far, if you have one area that you're more worried about than anything else, it has to be our offensive line. I think we can no longer call the Dallas Cowboys offensive line one of the best in football. We are in a transition, and... I'm not sure the transition is into the better at the moment, but we definitely want to see some good things from them. I'll have more a little bit later. I'm about to get into one of these coffin fits, and I don't want to get it on air to you guys. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I'll be seeing you today during the Washington game as well as the Cowboys game. Peace out. Folks here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, <coughs> commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Sports Report. Thank you.